Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to the ninth episode of Python's Realm Season 2, guys. Thank you very much for the support you have been shown for this series, my friends. It is super, super appreciated as always, guys. And today's fan out comes from a user by the name of Amy Darby, and she decided to sketch out what appears to be a wyvern. Is that is that a wyvern? It looks like a wyvern from Terraria. Or if not, then it looks like just a really awesome looking dragon. So, Amy Darby, that is an amazing piece of fan art. Thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. Guys, if you want to send in your fan art, you can do so using the details on screen. You can also look in the description for the details as well. And, uh, yeah, there you go. All right, guys. Well, let's start off by uh, getting rid of the freaking trash real quick because, well, there's rather a lot of them, isn't there? There we go. All right, so... Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be starting off today's episode with the treasure bag openings. Of course, we took down three bosses at once in the last episode. We're going to start off with the King Slime. Um, that's pretty much no different to what we already have, to be honest. So, although the ninja... Hey, look at that, guys. We've got a full set of ninja armor now. So if we wanted to do any kind of like throwing class, we actually could. In the meantime, let's get ourselves a guarding shield of Cthulhu. That's actually better than the one I have on me. Uh, and we're going to put that on in place of the Bazaar. So that's now a grand total of four defense within itself. That is really, really nice. We're going to sell the old one because we just don't need two of them. Uh, there we go. And then, in addition to that, we've got a bunch of Crimtain ore and a bunch of other stuff. So, this is the main article, my friends. We are looking for the bee's knees. Uh, well, actually, yeah, that's pretty much it. If we can get the bee's knees, that'd be fantastic. Nope, we've got the beekeeper. Okay, interesting stuff. Summons killer bees after striking your foe. The reason why I'd really like to have the bee's knees is because, well, it is the bee's knees. It is a really, really epically good bow. It's fantastic when combined with the hive pack. And the bee nades all against Skeletron, you know, it'll, it'll take him down in a matter of seconds, really. Well, no, that's an exaggeration, but you know what I'm saying, though. You know what I'm saying? It really will not take long. So, I mean, I do have, I do have some abominations left. I'm tempted to go ahead and give it all a go. And I tell you something as well. I'm almost tempted to put these on as well, so we can have infinite space gun ammo, right? And in addition to that, maybe reforging the space gun as well. Would be a good idea. So, I mean, anything with good damage? Uh, yep, that's fantastic. Deadly is a really, really good one. And then put this on, and this now does 25 damage. Not bad if you ask me, guys. Not bad if you ask me. <laughs> all right, so we're going to make ourselves some potions real quick. We don't need mana regen at all. We can just do with some magic power for additional power, of course. Uh, we'll have a little bit of that and a little bit of that. And believe it or not, I think that might just about do it. So, ladies and gentlemen... We're heading over to the jungle. We're going to try and take down a bunch of queen bees. And hopefully, 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 we'll grab ourselves one of those beautiful bees knee bows. Yo, guys, check this out. We've got naturally occurring pumpkins now. I completely forgot about this. But the Halloween seasonal event appears to have started. Hey, so we're going to get naturally occurring pumpkins. We're going to get goodie bags and costumes and all sorts. Heck yeah, buddy. Oh, I want to try and get as many goodie bags and as many costumes as I possibly can before the seasonal event ends. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to have to do a bunch of grinding here huh? because there is a lot of costumes that one can collect, right? So yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a grind, but I'll tell you what, we're going to make that sort of a mini series goal. Try and grab as many of the costumes as we possibly can. But ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the jungle. We're not going to go and do the battles on camera because I just don't see a reason to. We may go ahead and time lapse the first one, but then the two subsequent ones will probably just skip until the ends. So, where is the nice flat area? It's way over there. Okay, cool. Fair is snuff. Right, so we're going to get over there, over to our arena. Let's buff up. And ladies and gentlemen, let's do this thing. guys a nice easy battle the meteorite armor is definitely doing its job fantastic all right let's get these other two battles done shall we hey 
legendary beekeeper. How about that, my friends? Not bad. Okay, come on in. Big money. We want the bee's knees. And we got it. Okay, there we go. Bee's knees. There it is. We also managed to get ourselves the little baby hornet pet, which I guess is kind of awesome. Uh, we've got the honeyed goggles as well, so we can have ourselves our first mount of the series. Hey, look at that, my friends. That's pretty sick, actually. I love that. Right, so, uh, arcane hive pack, jacket hive pack. Nah, I think the uh, armored one that we had before is probably the best one. We've got the honeycomb as well. Releases bees when damaged. Uh, what can this be combined with? Is it the panic necklace I can combine this with? I don't think I've got it, though. Yeah, because I think you make the sweetheart necklace with it. Huh. It may be an idea in which case for us to try and get that because the sweetheart necklace is an excellent thing to have. It really, really is. So, uh, yeah, I think it'll be well worth it. Right, uh, beekeeper, we do not need a duplicate, so we're going to go and get rid of it. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, please, accept. There we go. All right, now, if we can get ourselves an unreal bee's knees, then, uh, well, that would be the bee's knees. I keep using that joke. I apologize. It's it's just terrible. Uh, I mean, we've got 83 gold coins. I mean, that's pretty nuts. And 66 there as well. Wow. Godly? Uh, I don't know, man. Rapid, rapid, unreal. There we go, my friends. The two best reforges for two of... Among the best, pretty hard mode weapons you can get. Beekeeper, it probably isn't as good as the enchanted sword, like, damage-wise, but I don't know, maybe the killer bees that, uh, you know, come out of it, maybe maybe they do a decent amount of damage. Who knows? But whatever the case is, my friends, I am very much a fan of this. Heck yeah. Not bad, if you ask me. Not bad. Uh, of course, I do believe that we need to use just default arrows with it. Otherwise, they just won't work. Like, it won't actually shoot out bees. Yeah, there we go. Hey, not bad, not bad. Okay, right, I'll tell you what, it would be really, really nice to get that sweetheart necklace, so I think that may be the next thing we do in today's episode. Let's go for the Brain of Cthulhu. Hey, there we go, my friends. I got it on the first one. <laughs> That's pretty cool, if you ask me. I don't even need to take down the Brain of Cthulhu. Well, in which case, I'm not gonna. I mean, there's literally no reason to, so I'm just there's just no point. All right, so let's get down here. Let's make this thing lucky sweetheart necklace plus crit chance. Hey, man, I'm not opposed to some crit chance. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I may replace the band of regen with this. I think that might be a cool idea anyway. So we've got more damage with both of these weapons because of the fact that uh, the sweetheart necklace releases bees. Uh, but then in addition to that, maybe if we put on the hive pack as well, that'll do even more damage, right? Because that's what the hive pack does. It increases the damage of your friendly bees. So there we go. Armored hive pack. Maybe the shield of Cthulhu goes off. I don't know, man. We'll have to see what kind of damage the bees actually do, because I must admit, I am kind of interested to know. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should take down the Brainy Cthulhu just to test it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brainy Cthulhu, your time has come. All right, boys, let's get this thing going. Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh... Well, this would appear to be absolute decimation, as you can clearly see. Look at the damage per second counter. That's not bad for pre-hard mode for it to be in the several hundreds. Hey, eh? That's not bad at all. Wow. Okay. Uh, where's he coming from? Oh, there he is. Go on, then. Oh, this guy. This is an embarrassing freaking fight, dude. What the hell, bro? Dude, this should be able to easily take down Skeletron, right? <laughs> Wow, okay, my bee army, brilliant stuff. I'm almost tempted to go whole hog and then get the the bee armor with the bees wax and then just have like a whole bunch of bees following me as well. I could be the absolute, you know, most brilliant beekeeper ever to have lived. Dude, that'd be sweet. <laughs> and I've got bee maids. Oh, mate, I have, I have some ambitions right now. I have some ambitions. <laughs> Well, guys, I think I'm going to cave into the temptation. Let's get it. Hornet staff, bee armor. Dudes, we are going to be the most epic beekeeper to have ever lived. We've got bee knees. We've got the bee's knees. We've got the beekeeper. We've got the hornet staff. Ah, yeah. We are going to be going down in terms of defense by a... That's a fairly considerable margin, going down to 16 defense, which is six less than what we had. But uh, do you know what? I think this will be worth it. I really do. I mean, as you can see, the goblin is really excited. He's having himself a bit of a party over there. Uh, godly? Uh, I mean, I'm down. I'm down to have a little bit of godly in the house. Heck yeah, man. 
<laughs> oh, dude, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun time, my friends. Right, okay, so uh, let's just make sure that we've got everything that we need. I'd quite like to maybe make a start on getting some, uh, some life regen stations going. So things like uh, heart lanterns, campfires, all that kind of stuff, I think is going to be very, very useful to our cause when it comes to... Skeletron. So, yeah. All right, so let's get a couple of them. Um, should we, do we really need honey? I don't think we're going to need honey. I think that might be a bit overkill, perhaps. But I'll tell you what we will need is buff potions. So, yeah, let's grab some of these. So, we've got archery, regen, iron skin, swiftness. And you know what? I think that might actually be good. Yeah, seems legit. All right, so all we need to do now is make our way all the way to the dungeon, survive, make an arena... And then I guess we'll be good, right? So, yeah. All right. Well, well I guess we're going to head over to the freaking dungeon then. Let's do it, folks. Hey, guys. Check it out. The first treasure bag or goodie bag of this year and this series. I'm pretty excited to open that and see what's in there. But in the meantime, as you can see, what I'm doing currently is making a Skeletron Arena. Now, how I tend to do these things is I make two layers of platforms. Well, three if you include the floor. Like, I smooth out the floor. As you can see, this is actually quite a good location for a dungeon because we've got, like, a nice enclosed area at the bottom here. I think that's really, really cool. But what I tend to do is make a layer out of this top section and then a layer out of this top section here. So, you We've seen already that I've gone ahead and I've smoothed out the tops of the dungeon areas. So everything is looking good on that front. But, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and get some stuff going here. And what I'd really like to do is get some more wood up in here. Because we don't really have any. Oh, boy. Uh, well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and place a heart lantern here. And then I think I may go ahead and put one way over here as well. So the effect of regeneration is, you know, there, I guess. Right. Can you, like, die, please? There you go. Get out of here. All right. So uh, let's get that going. Let's just... I'm just going to put a brick there because why not? Sadly, you can't really put heart lanterns on sand blocks because sand falls. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, let's open this thing in 3, 2, 1. Boom! Rotten eggs. 13 throwing damage. Okay, I mean, it's not the most interesting thing in the world, it has to be said, but you know what? It is better than nothing. I would have preferred a costume, if I'm honest. Get my costume collection started. <laughs> oh, dear. It doesn't matter too much, though, my friends. i tell you what does matter, though, is getting some wood for some more platforms. So, let's go and grab some of that palm wood. Oh, mate, that gives me an idea for a future build slash settlement. I'd quite like to make, like, a beach resort beach settlement kind of thing because i haven't really done it before i've done it on well i've done it in a much lesser sense on the very old fishing playthrough that i did that was a hardcore challenge but i haven't really done it in like a conventional manner like in a normal let's play so it will definitely be interesting definitely be a different style of building for me and uh, i definitely look forward to giving it a go but guys let's get this arena finished and we're going to try and take on skeletron and ladies and gentlemen the time is just about here we have ourselves all these buff potions We've got ourselves all of our bees going as well. So, we should be able to do this, man. I'm hoping we should be able to do this. Curse. Boom. All right, let's try using these things. Should we try and use a little bit of this, perhaps? Yeah, you yeah, you get those damage boys going. Yeah, let's go. Oh, my God, it's Bee Central up in here. <laughs> oh, my word, guys. What in the heck is going on right now? I guess what I should really be doing is trying to save some of the bee nades for the wall of flesh because it's probably just a good idea, to be honest with you guys. But you know what? I want to use some of them, but I'm not going to use, like, all of them, okay? That's not going to be the intention here today. Hey, not bad, though, my friends. We're really not doing bad. I think this may be one of the easiest Skeletron first-time fights I've ever done. And now they go nuts. Go on, then, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, boys. Come on. All right. And it's when he starts spinning, that's when we can do the most damage. Here we go, guys. Look at it. Look at it. Look, look, look at the damage these guys are doing. 5,000 health. 4,000 health. Oh, my God. This guy's an absolute pushover. Dude, Python, the master of the bees, is actually destroying people right now. I think I may need this, actually. Uh, okay. Master of the bees, but I am still taking a decent amount of damage, has to be said. Come on, boys. I'm not done yet. Okay, okay. I may be done shortly, though. 
if I'm not careful here. Maybe we do a figure of eight. Yeah, this is working kind of okay. Okay, here he comes. Oh, yes! We did it first time! That actually got a little bit close at the end there. I'm kind of, I kind of regret taking off the hive back because I definitely feel like that was doing a lot more damage. Uh, I think the shark tooth necklace, it's a good thing because it's basically, in a nutshell, it's kind of like a permanent plus five damage because basically what it does is it decreases every single enemy's defense by five. That's what armor penetration means. It basically means it takes away their defense by that amount. So it reduces their defense by five. So it means I could do more damage to people. So it's really, really good accessory. Very underrated in my opinion, especially by myself. Yeah, like I don't really use it, but I've been using it in this series and I've definitely been noticing some good results with it. But anyways, guys, there we go. Skeletron was taken down first time. I'm feeling pretty darn good about that. Let's open this bad boy up. We have ourselves the Unreal Bone Glove. Oh, my God. The luck has been so real today. Look at this. Or should I say Unreal? <laughs> we got the legendary beekeeper. Best prefix. Unreal bees knees. Best prefix. Unreal Bone Glove. Uh, I don't know what the best prefix is for throwing damage, but Unreal is still pretty damn formidable. It's good, isn't it? Uh, yeah. But aside from that, everything's good. And a meteorite's just landed. Now, where the heck did that go? I have no idea. I hope it didn't land on my base, because that would be really quite ironic, actually. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, anyways, we have ourselves a bag. Let's do it. Treasure hunter shirt, treasure hunter pants. Hey, man. Why the heck not? Should we put it on and see what happens? Treasure hunter. Ooh, I look amazing. I do. I look really cool. That hive pack looks so good on me. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, guys. But whatever the case, we now have access to the dungeon. So, I mean, should we just keep going? Should we just keep going? I mean, I don't know what I want to get from the dungeon. I mean, the Muramasa would be really good. The Cobalt Shield. Handgun would be really good as well. Uh... Hmm, I don't know. Or maybe we could do something else in the meantime. I mean, uh, trying to dig a elevator is something that we'll need to do in the near future so we can get down to the under realms really easily. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, what we're going to do, what we are going to do, guys, is we're going to go with the end goal of getting the water bolt, okay? Oh, a raven. Hey, buddy. That is a season-specific mob, that is. Awesome stuff. All right, we're going to go for the water bowl. It shouldn't be that difficult to find. It doesn't typically tend to be anyway. Uh, so let's just uh, let's have a bit of a nosy on through. Shine potion. I just killed a mouse. I'm a terrible person by every stretch of the imagination. But we're going to head down. Hello, sir. You will die at the hands of me, the Pythonator, master of the bees. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. I'd love to see some fan art for Python, the master of the bees. Like I feel like that'd be epic. <laughs> Uh. Anyways, come on, boys. Come on. It shouldn't take that long to find the water bowl. It's normally pretty easy to spot if you know what you're looking for. Uh, we have ourselves our first thing here. And the Muramasa is the first thing we get. That's incredible. And, of course, we've got the mechanic as well. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, none of those are the water bolt. None of those are the water bolt. That was a trap, but it didn't get me because, you know, it's, it's a dumb, dumb doofus brain thing. <laughs> ah, right. Come on. Ooh golden key. We've got ourselves one of these things. Awesome stuff. I'll take an alchemy table any day. Save on some resources up in here. Nice one. Alright. Hello, says. You shall all die at the hands of me and my epic bees and such. Right. Where is this water bolt? I am looking for you, sir, and you will make yourself apparent to me. Right? It's kind of funny as well when you think about it. Like, I seem to be picking up quite a lot of other drops. Like the alchemy station, all that kind of stuff. But I'm looking for something very, very specific. But the game isn't giving it to me. It seems to be giving me everything but what I need. Slash one. <laughs> oh, no. Game, Terraria. Why? Why you be so trolly, bro? Come on, man. There's got to be one around here. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up until we find one, okay? I'm really not going to give up. Because giving up is for wussies. I ain't doing it, man. No, 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 no. There's a bookshelf there. Are any of these a uh, water bowl? No. We're looking for a blue book with a white stripe. That is what the water bowl looks like on the shelf. Right. Uh, can you like all die, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Right. Hmm. 
I don't know what's going on. But the game is just being really mean to me now. Like, all of a sudden, like, I've had all the luck getting the most epic reforges on things. But now Terraria is just like, nah, mate. Nah, you don't need any more luck. I think you're okay as you are now. <laughs> uh, come on, man. Hey, so it would appear that the skeletons are guarding a water bolt there. You can probably see it there. It's right there. I can see it. My health has taken a bit of a beating, it has to be said. Oh, hey, look, the the crimson chest is here. Has the vampire knives in it. It's going to be a very good weapon to get in future. But there we go, my friends. Water bolt has been obtained, and things are looking up. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Goal complete. We'll return to the dungeon in the next episode to get more stuff. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to end this one here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, and of course, you are excited to see more, do be sure to head down below the video, drop a like rating. It is by far the best way let me know if you would like to continue seeing more of this series. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And that is going to wrap it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.